Hello everyone, WolfieCast here, back with another Hero Basics video, where I take a hero and show you what their kit does. No upgrades, no talents, nothing special like that. Just level 1 as the hero comes. This time featuring HK206, or more commonly referred to as HK. HK is a ranged damage dealer with the category shooter, so he is all about the damage output, mainly revolving around his left mouse button. Uh, but he has the unique feature where he can fortify, which gives him uh, kind of this immobile form, but he gets extra benefits from being turreted up, so to speak. Uh, HK has 2000 health as well as 25 armor, which is the highest of any shooter in the game. Uh, so he is deceptively bulky, despite being kind of the similar role. But we're going to jump right into it, starting with his left mouse button, which is called Bullet Barrage. You hold down the left mouse button and you fire a stream of bullets that deal damage to the first target that they hit, about 28 damage per bullet. And every now and then you have to do a short reload animation before you can continue firing. So this is what this looks like. I hold down my left mouse button and I just do a stream of bullet. You can see that bar filling uh, on my interface. And once that bar fills, I do like a short reload animation and then I can continue firing. Now this ability has a pretty significant recoil so if i were to if i just hold it down briefly and not not doing anything with no other mouse uh no other mouse movement here you can see that recoil is pretty significant so you have to maintain your trajectory uh pretty well but it's not all too difficult uh these are hit scan bullets as well so there's no travel time for them but there is a slight spread as well as damage fall off for further targets so you can see even though i'm aiming at that far motiga uh he's a little bit harder to hit because he's so far away and every every few bullets might not even hit and see from from this distance i'm doing way less damage because i'm just so far away but from about here doing pretty significant damage over the course of the channel next we're actually going to jump all the way to hk's e which is called fortify so you enter your turret mode uh, locking yourself in place, which means you can't move from where you are. Uh, and after, yeah, just after a short delay, you enter that turret mode. You gain 20% frontal damage reduction, which stacks with your frontal 25 armor, which is around 45% damage reduction from the front, which is crazy. Um, you gain immunity from being pushed, as well as increased accuracy. So that's what this looks like. Kind of fortify that short delay, and then you fire and fire and fire and fire. And another thing that's not told, at least in that spell description, you don't actually have to reload when you're turreted up. So when you're when you're fortified like this, I can just keep firing. And you can tell um you can tell that the bullet spread is not as wide. So if I were to attack this guy, you can see more of these bullets are pretty easy to hit because of the fact that I'm ha there's a tighter spread. Like a very a very minimal spread comparatively to the unfortified version with the trade-off that you're you know not able to move but you hit the ability again and then it goes on cooldown you can move again you return to all your normal uh, other functions so fortify roughly around a 14 second cooldown i think before you can use it again uh and it's it's really good at just kind of holding your ground and saying this is this is where i want to be this is where i'm going to attack and People really have to respect it. Another thing about Fortify is that uh, even though you can't move in the traditional sense, you can still perform dodges. So you can still do backs dodges, left, right dodges. Still costs the same amount of stamina. Uh, still gives you iframes to dodge abilities if you want to use them that way. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. Uh, it's not something that's ever said anywhere, but you can kind of accidentally, you know, happen to do it as you're playing him. But in case you didn't know, now you know. Anyway, now moving on to uh, HK's right mouse button, which is called Railgun. And it's a very simple ability. Fires an energy blast. It uh, attacks the first enemy that it hits. It is a hit scan ability, and it does a significant amount of damage, but a very, very narrow, uh, very, very narrow bullet. But that's what that looks like. Just a big burst of damage that you can kind of use in the middle of being fortified or kind of briefly interrupts your left mouse button channel if i were to use it here 
just briefly interrupts around the same interval as just doing a reload. So there's not really a reason to not use it. Uh, but that's it. Uh, this ability does not pierce. It kind of looks like it should pierce, kind of a brief, the brief animation of it, but uh, it does not pierce. It just only hits the first target in its trajectory. And it is a very, very, again, it is a very, very narrow. So it's a little, it's a little harder to land, uh, but it is extremely accurate, like right in the center of your crosshair. So like that, because Gnosis is very wide, that was a very, that was very forgiving. But keep in mind, not every single character has the same hurt box so some might be a uh, difficult, more difficult to land. And for HK's last ability, his Q, which is called Mortar, uh, throws an explosive in an arced trajectory. On on hit, it kind of does a small bounce, and then it explodes in a radius effect. Enemies that are hit take damage and are briefly knocked up, as well as applied a burn in, uh, burn debuff, which is 65 damage per second for three seconds. So this is what Mortar looks like. Kind of launch it. There's a small delay before it explodes after it lands. Gnosis is slightly pushed up and away from that point of impact, and then he took damage over time. And this is a pretty it's a pretty significant area. So like if I fire it here, that still hits Gnosis. And he doesn't get launched as far away from the point of impact, but he still gets knocked upwards. He still gets the full damage. He still gets the full burn. So it's it's very good at a just burst AoE control. Uh and the trajectory, very similar to Sven's, kind of similar to Sven's arc trajectory on his potions. And Sven's, Sven's basic uh, skills hasn't come out yet. Uh, video hasn't come out yet, but, you know, you'll kind of see it when you use it. So you have to aim a little more upward. So if I were to aim, like, right at this Motiga, doesn't quite reach him. But, uh, you know, you, you kind of have to aim a little higher and you'll get used to it as you as you play HK more. It's it's a little difficult um, kind of to to gauge. But if I were to aim it higher up there like that and then it lands and uh, also another thing of notes, you might have saw it as I just used it there. Uh, the further it travels, there's a slightly less delay when it actually explodes. So if I if I put it right here, it still kind of bounces briefly before it explodes but if I wait for the cooldown to come back up and it launches further, that Motiga, it actually explodes right away. So it's very good at kind of more firing at a medium long distance. Yeah, right as it impacted, it dealt that damage. And finally, we have HK's focus, which is called Swarm. Uh, it's actually an acronym. And a long time ago, I probably could have told you what each of these letters stand for. Uh, but at this time, I don't actually know. I'm sure there's someone in the comments that will remind me what the acronym is but anyway uh fires multiple missiles you lock on to a target and the missiles will launch kind of making a trajectory towards that target dealing damage per rocket 50 damage per rocket uh with each focus point it increases the duration of the attack which starts at two seconds that increases to two and a half and then three at rank three uh it also increases the amount of missiles that are fired which is pretty self-explanatory because the attack lasts longer. And then the total damage output, which is basically if every missile hits the same target, it does 950 damage, and then rank 2 does 1,200, and then rank 3 does 1,450. Uh, what this ability doesn't tell you is that these rockets actually do damage in a pretty large area of effect, um, considering that they're, you know, individual targeted missiles. But uh, if, if the group... If the enemy is clustered up all together, you're actually doing pretty damage, uh, pretty good damage to all of them. But this is what it looks like. You kind of see that targeting reticle. All those attacks fire outward and does just significant damage. This is this is a focus that is not often respected uh, in my in my past uh, encounters. A lot of people just kind of sleep on this focus, but it's really really strong. Uh, but it can also be interrupted considering that it is technically channeled. So if you're, uh, if you're not careful about when you use it, you can end up only firing maybe half or even less of the rockets and do significantly less damage. Just to show an interesting little rea uh, interaction with the focus, you can sort of move the cursor and change the initial targeting on it if you really want to. I honestly don't think that there's any real reason to do this just because you're significantly reducing the damage potential on a one person. I think it's best utilized just 
fully barraging on one person and and making that impact making them either need to you know leave or they understand that they're going to be missing at least half of their health maybe even more depending on the character but that is hk's kit if you enjoyed watching make sure to like and also share the video uh me on the lookout for the deep dive of hk as well as future installments of hero basics but thank you for watching have a good day and i will see you in the next one